some people have asked what's the difference between the direct power amp in and the return of the effects loop. And as far as I can see, according to the diagram in the manual, the send return comes before the effects and the power amp in comes after the effects. So the direct power amp in is one step closer to the power amp and it doesn't get processed by any of the effects. Does that make a sound difference? Let's find out. I've got the breakthrough pedal from Thermion FX, which is a Vox AC30 in a box, and it has a preamp mode. So I've set it into preamp mode. I'm gonna try it three different ways with the Katana. Number one, in the front end, into the clean amp. Number two, into the return of the effects loop. And number three, into the direct power amp in, and we can compare the sounds. Up first, this is into the clean channel with the pedal turned off. <laughs> Okay, pedal on. Let's put that through the effects return. And now through the power amp direct in. When I plugged into the power amp in, it disengaged the Tone Studio software. So if you look at the screen now, it says the power amp in jack is being used. If I disconnect that, it comes back on again. And also the GAFC turned off. That's interesting. 